In this video lecture, I will explain you analysis and designing of G plus 4 multi-story building by using SAP 2000 software. Okay. So in my previous videos, I was explained the uh, different types of the buildings by using StatPro V8A software as well as the ETAP software. In this video, I will cover the concepts which are related to the complete analysis process, modeling process as well as the designing process by using SAP 2000 software. So here I am selecting my SAP 2000 uh, software 23 version. The software will be open here like this. So firstly, we have to select the file option on the top. Click on the new model option. So it will ask you to select the new model type. So as per my consideration, just I'm taking the model type is 3D frame model. It will be consisting of different types of the options. Okay. In my upcoming video, I will explain you detailed concepts related to these respected options. So just I'm selecting the 3D frame model. Why? Because our the structure will be consisting of the 3D model only. That's why just I'm selecting here as 3D model. So number of the stories. So here in this case, just we are considering the G plus 4 building structural model, which is consisting of ground floor plus 4 stories, which is of 5 slabs. So here I'm selecting the uh, 5 slabs, which is of 5 story. So select the story height will be of 3 meter. Just I'm selecting the number of the base in X direction will be consisting of 5 number. I number of base along y direction will be sorry x direction bay width will be consisting of 3 I number of base along this respected direction is 4 and which is consisting of 3 meter if you want to edit the center to center distance between the each column you can select this option which is related to the use custom grid space you can click on edit option and click on the spacing option you can edit this particular distance if I want to change the uh, center to center distance between the second column from the 3 meter to 4 meter you can click on the 4 option again you can click on the 4 here you can click on the 4 4 here so that it will change the dimensions center to center distance between the column so after that we have to add the beam dimensions as well as the column dimensions for that we have to click on this place mark so again it will ask you to add the new property this time selecting the property which is related to the column and section concrete section okay so select the rectangular column one just I am taking the column section which is consisting of approximately 0 0.35 cross 0 0.35 is the dimensions of the column so select the depth so same as per the your respected ETAP software just I am selecting here as 0 0.35 is the dimensions for this respected property and this is also 0 0.35 so after that we have to select the material so for that we have option is there which is related to the material option on this so before that we need to define two types of the materials for the building structure so in this case just I am selecting the place mark click on add new material property according to Indian standard system select the concrete material so here in this case I am assuming M30 grade concrete provision in the same process I am adding the rebar which is comes under the uh, HYSD bars of 500 grade click on ok so again we have to click on ok select the M30 grade provision ok select this uh, uh, concrete reinforcement details so you can select the uh, longitudinal bar lateral bar which is consisting of 500 grid so you can select the uh, cover just I am selecting here as 30 mm cover and longitudinal bar will become under the 16 mm and conformmental bar will become under the 12 mm 12 ok so click on the uh, reinforcement to be designed click on ok click on ok option in the same process I am adding the one more property which is related to the beams just I am selecting the property name here as B which is comes under the dimensions of let us consider 0 0.35 cross just I am taking 0 0.23 so here I am selecting the depth will be consisting of approximately 0 0.35 and width will be approximately 0 0.23 select the material property which is comes under M30 grid click on the concrete select this particular option of the longitudinal bar which is a 500 select the beam option so you can pick the top and bottom cover for this respected property just I am taking here in this case as 0 0.03 click on ok again in the same process we have to click on ok option in the same process click on ok so automatically it will select the property which is comes under the column here ok but we need to change that particular property from the column to beam option ok click on ok so that it will do the 3d modeling for the building structure with the considerations of the beams and column dimensions now we can see it was done with the 3D modeling process. So this is the plan view and this is the uh, 3D view for the building structure. Now we have to add the slab section for this particular structure. So for that firstly we have to define the slab thickness. Go to click on the define option for that section property. Select the area section. So click on the add new section property here. 
give the section name which is related to the slab option here okay just i'm selecting the slab option so just i'm taking the thickness of the slab which is comes under the 0.15 and this respected value is also 0.15 and select the material property which is comes under the M30 gradle concrete provision. So click on the OK option. Then after that we have to click on OK. So now we have to uh, assign this property for the building structure here. Okay. So here in this case just I am selecting the building structure which is consisting of the floor number is approximately top story here. Select this property which is related to the quick draw areas option. Just I am selecting the property slab section. Just I am drawing here. Now we can see it was drawn with slab section at the top in the same process you can go to the bottom section and you can drag to the structure here like this again you can come to the bottom section again you can draw the structure here like this again in the same process i am coming to the next story here and again i am drawing the section here like this for the ground floor okay so in the same process you can draw the slabs as per your requirement okay so after assigning the models we need to see the model in rendering view which is nothing but the 3d view so click on the right mark option here and you can select the general option select the fill objects option apply to all windows click on apply click on ok option so that it will display the rendering view for the structure here now after defining the uh, structural model we need to add the load cases ok so for that go to click on the define option in the top select the load patterns it will automatically take the dead load condition system so now we have to consider the live load condition system for that just I am selecting LL select the type will be comes under the live click on add new property so again we have to select the seismic load earthquake load in X condition system which is comes under the earthquake as per the IS codal provision so here I am selecting IS 1893-2016 click on add in the same process I am selecting earthquake load in Y direction condition system click on add option in the same process just I am adding wind load which is in X direction which is comes under the wind according to the IS uh, 875 2015 codal provision standard click on add again I'm selecting wind load in y direction condition system click on add option select the uh, earthquake load in x direction condition click on the modify lateral load so here in this case we need to select the parameters according to our consideration which is similar to that of the ETAP software okay this time selecting the high seismic zone which is of x direction click on ok select the earthquake load in y click on the modify option global direction which is of 0.36 click on ok select the wind x just i am selecting the uh, uh, wind speed will be a 44 which is in terrain category 3 which is acting 0 degrees angle for the respected direction click on ok again i am selecting this particular option this is also 44 this value will be comes under the 3 and this value will be comes under the 90 click on ok click on ok option after defining the load cases we need to add those respected load cases for the building structure so for that we have to select the, all the structure in order to assign the uh, sulfate condition system go to assignment option joint load select the forces select the load which is comes under the global direction uh, x y z and x x y y z z as one add to existing condition system here click on apply so click on ok option so after applying the sulfate condition system we need to apply the uh, wall load for the building structure basically the wall load will be comes under the three categories which is comes under the external wall load, internal wall load and parapet wall load in condition system. So in order to calculate the external wall load, initially we need to uh, give the uh, complete calculation part. So here I am selecting 0.23 multiplied by unit weight of the brickwork. Let us consider here as 20 uh, multiplied by each floor height, which is comes under the 13.8 is the external wall load. In the same process, we have to calculate the internal wall load. Just I am taking 0.125 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 3 which is comes under the 7.5 in the same process 0.125 multiplied by uh, 20 multiplied by 1.2 meter height for the respected parapet wall load which is comes under the 3 so 3 plus 7.5 plus 13.8 is the total combination of the load which is approximately equal to 24.3 okay so in order to assign the wall load firstly we have to select go to select option select property frame section select as beam select option close option go to assign a uh, frame line load distributed condition system add to existing so we have to enter this particular value is 24.3 kilo newton per meter click on apply option click on ok option so after applying the uh, a wall load condition system we need to apply the uh, 
फ्लोर लोड कंडीशन सिस्टम ओके सो हियर इन दिस केस जस्ट एम सेलेक्टिंग द फ्लोर लोड व्हिच इज अ 1.5 किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर सो इन ऑर्डर टू अप्लाई द फ्लोर लोड कंडीशन सिस्टम वी नीड टू सेलेक्ट द स्लैब इनिशियली गो टू सेलेक्ट द एरिया सेक्शन व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू द स्लैब क्लिक ऑन सेलेक्ट क्लोज गो टू असाइन अ एरिया लोड व्हिच इज ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म शेल जस्ट आई एम सेलेक्टिंग द लोड व्हिच इज कम्स अंडर द 1.5 किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर ऐड टू एग्जिस्टिंग लोडिंग कंडीशन क्लिक ऑन अप्लाई सो क्लिक ऑन ओके ऑप्शन देन आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू अप्लाई द लाइव लोड कंडीशन सिस्टम सो फॉर दैट गो टू सेलेक्ट द प्रीवियस सेक्शन व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू द स्लैब्स गो टू क्लिक ऑन द असाइन ऑप्शन फॉर एरिया लोड व्हिच इज कम्स अंडर द यूनिफॉर्म शेल सेलेक्ट द लाइव लोड कंडीशन सिस्टम व्हिच इज कम्स अंडर जस्ट आई एम टेकिंग 3 किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर इज द इंटेंसिटी क्लिक ऑन अप्लाई ऑप्शन ओके सो दैट इट विल अप्लाई द लाइव लोड कंडीशन सिस्टम देन ऑटोमेटिकली इट विल टेक द सिस्मिक लोडिंग कंडीशन सिस्टम एज वेल एज द विंड लोडिंग कंडीशन फॉर द स्ट्रक्चर अगेन इन द सेम प्रोसेस वी हैव टू अप्लाई द फिक्स्ड सपोर्ट्स एट द बेस सो फॉर दैट जस्ट आई एम सेलेक्टिंग द बेस लेवल फॉर द बिल्डिंग स्ट्रक्चर हियर दिस इज द बेस लेवल सेलेक्ट ऑल द नोड पॉइंट्स एट द बेस क्लिक ऑन असाइन जॉइंट पॉइंट रिस्ट्रेंट्स ऑप्शन सेलेक्ट द फिक्स्ड सपोर्ट कंडीशन सिस्टम क्लिक ऑन अप्लाई ऑप्शन so click on ok option so that it will apply the fixed support condition system for the building structure now we have to analyze the structure before that we need to take the uh, add the load combinations go to define option select the load combination click on add default design combination select here as concrete frame design section let us consider click on okay so that it will add the load combinations here like this click on okay now we have to analyze the structure go to analyze option set load case uh, set analysis option here so you can select uh, as per your consideration just i'm selecting default options click on analyze option uh, click on the create analysis model so that it will do the analysis model again we have to click on the run analysis set load cases to run select all the load cases click on run now option so that it will do the analysis process with the considerations of the building before that we need to save the model just i'm saving my model as sap name okay now we can see analysis process is completed the deflection diagram is showing here like this so this is the deflection diagram due to the presence of the dead loading condition so in order to see the shear force diagram we have to click on the display option on the top select the forces stresses frame span rail of force so select your respective load case just i'm selecting as per my consideration dead load click on select shear tool to click on apply so that it will display the shear force diagram select moment 33 click on apply so that it will display the bending moment diagram for the building structure So after analysis process completed, we need to design the structure according to IS four five six two thousand codal provision standard system. For that, we have design option is there on the top. Select the concrete frame design. Select view revised preferences here. So select the uh, design code according to IS codal provision standard Indian standard system. Click on OK. Click on the design option concrete frame design. Select these uh, respected uh, design combinations according to your consideration. Yes, I am selecting all this property. Click on OK. Again, I am selecting design, concrete frame design. Directly, you can click on the start design check for the structure, so that it will start designing check for the respective frame section according to IS four five six two thousand codal provision standard by using uh, SAP two thousand software. Now we can see here it was done with the designing process. So you can select any one of the beam or column in order to see the reinforcement values. This time, selecting this particular beam. uh you can select any one of the beam right click on it so that it will be consisting of your respective design code and analysis section you can click on the display detail option for this respective section which is consisting of summary so it will be consisting of complete designing section summary again it will be consisting of flexural details for the respective beam again in the same process it will be consisting of shear details for the respective beam okay so in the same process you can select any one of the column from the designing results this time selecting this particular column right click on it it will be consisting of your summary which is consisting of complete calculation part which is comes under the reinforcement values again it will be consisting of your flexural details again it will be consisting of shear details again it will be consisting of interaction curves for this particular column section joint shear section again it will be consisting of b by c details for the particular structure according to your considerations of IS 456 2000 codal provision okay so you can save as table or format file according to your consideration and in order to see the details of the reinforcement you can click on this details design concrete frame design display design information you can select here as rebar percentage or re shear reinforcement section or else you can select any one of these this time selecting shear reinforcement section 
click on ok so that it will display the share enforcement section for the particular members so you can click on this option so you can click on the summary option so that it will be consisting of complete share enforcement design results according to IS 456 2000 codal provision standard system ok so this is the complete process of analysis and designing of multi-story building which is of G plus 4 by using uh, SAP 2000 software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box I will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you